All right. Well, we've made our way now into a unit that uh, actually I've been through before, right? You have? Yeah. About a, yeah. What, a year ago? About a little over a year ago, a yeah. A little over a year ago. Yeah. So uh, tell us about this. This is certainly a different uh, package of finishes than we saw in the last unit. Tell us where we are. This is a 1,571 square foot, two bedroom, two and a half bath. And once again, still offering the guaranteed uh, Grant Park and Lake Michigan or east facing views. Um, and this is a model we just completed. It's a more contemporary style, just to give someone another option of uh, versus the more traditional style you saw in the three bedroom. Um, nice focal point for entertaining. So whereas the three bedroom had the more closed off kitchen, uh, this just gives you more of an open feel. Um, once again, all these finishes you see are standard. We just painted this home and furnished it uh, just to give someone an idea of what's possible. As you can see, this is a six person dining room table. So uh, once again, room sizes, we typically beat people on room size. It's a very livable, large space. Uh, this actually is the largest, nicest two bedroom we have here at the Columbian. And it actually is the only one that's two and a half bathrooms. All the other two bedrooms are two bedroom, two baths. So this is nice, you get a, a master suite that faces east uh, with the, the parking lake views and then another guest suite uh, that faces south. So the split layout is nice for the privacy factor for you and your guests. Your balcony here is, uh, this is positioned on the southeast corner of the building. Across the hall from uh, the three bedroom model. So uh, then once again, the Columbian just split the east side into the two homes. Uh, everybody else on the park has taken their guaranteed view corridor, whether it's facing north, east, or south, and they've divided it up into these numerous longer, smaller, narrower spaces, and they charge you a higher price per square foot for that. So once again, uh, fantastic location, a beautiful exterior, unique, um, being the tallest hand-laid brick building in the city of Chicago now in the sense of exterior curtain wall, uh, and a, a, a fabulous product through and through, but always coming back to value. The Columbian was always the entry level to the luxury market uh, on the park and in the South Loop, and, and now much more so. Yeah, I mean, you're obviously opening up the building as a whole to uh to people who a few years ago probably never would have dreamed to have a location like this. Absolutely. And then opening up some of your you know, uh, higher priced tiers to people who maybe a few years ago were having to opt for something a little bit smaller. So Jill, you're, bit you're, right on, you're right on target. Yeah. Uh, just looking out here, uh, you can see probably all the way down around the bend of the lake. Coming all the way around again, we're right across from, that would be Shedd Aquarium, uh, right across the way in Adler Planetarium and uh, just a little bit of a sliver of the Field Museum as well. And then it's a beautiful day. Looks like the boats are out on the lake. People are uh, finally starting to enjoy summer. Uh, here we are, we're actually in the, the master bedroom of the master suite. Uh, this is about a 13 by 17 master bedroom. So once again, designed to uh, comfortably take the, the king size bedroom set that it has. Um, and there's still space for a seating area. This uh, master suite actually has the east facing views. So um, every morning you would wake up to Grant Park in Lake Michigan. And as you work your way back, uh, you'll see it is a complete suite. So you're gonna see the same style of bathroom that you saw in the three bedroom. It's uh, the all natural stone, of course, and it is a tub, jacuzzi tub in this case. Uh, with a separate stand-up shower, which people prefer. And then this is uh, the largest walk-in closet we basically have um, shy of a 3,000 square foot penthouse. Um, I've sold some of these homes based on just the, the, the walk-in closet size alone. Yeah, this is impressive. Somebody would downsize from, you know, a, a medium-sized single-family home. They could comfortably live in a 1,571 square foot two-bedroom. The two-and-a-half bath is nice because you get that guest suite in the split layout, so if you have in-laws or family or the kids coming, they actually have their own private nighttime space. In this case, this was set up as more of an office, just to give someone the idea they could use a bedroom or you could have the office space, or, or if that was a day bed, then you would have both. And once again, you know, if you wanted to just convert it into just a pure bedroom, Absolutely. enough room to, to have a good size bed? Absolutely, more than enough space uh, for whatever bed size you wanted. And it's actually a suite, so you have a bathroom here right off of the bedroom before you get back into the hallway. Okay, and then finally, uh, let's just go over pricing and availability for this tier real quick. Uh, well, we've actually released uh, three homes uh, at the uh, current price, or the, what we would call the aggressive marketing price of 6049 uh, to 6349. 